I speak life and prosperity. And I speak health because God favored me. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your quick news and notes, Arnold Palmer was released Monday from an Orlando hospital and back at work. NASCAR's annual All-Star Race will be split into five segments this year, with a mandatory pit stop before the final 10-lap sprint for the $1 million prize. Rafael Nadal has resigned as vice president of the ATP Player Council, saying he can no longer give the job the attention it needs. Romanian boxing champion Lucien Butte has become a Canadian citizen after being a permanent resident since 2007. Heavyweight mixed martial artist Alistair Overeem was sentenced to 50 hours of community service Tuesday stemming from a January 2nd incident in which he allegedly pushed a woman at a Las Vegas nightclub and must attend anger management counseling and stay out of trouble for 90 days and if he doesn't, it could result in a 90 day jail sentence. The Nevada State Athletic Commission voted unanimously on Tuesday to fine and suspend Mohamed Lawal following a positive test for anabolic steroids in January and he has forfeited a $15,000 bonus and 30% of his $24,000 purse. After failing to win their match against El Salvador, the men's U.S. Olympic soccer team will not be going to the games in London. Baylor's Brittany Reiner, Stanford's Enemkadi Ogumake, Notre Dame's Skylar Diggins, Delaware's Alina Del Dine, and Maryland's Elisa Thomas were all selected to the Associated Press All-America team on Tuesday. As reported on Monday, Frank Martin agreed to become the next head coach of South Carolina's men's basketball team and was officially introduced yesterday after signing a six-year contract worth $12.3 million. In addition, South Carolina agreed to pay Martin's $1 million buyout at Kansas State. Mississippi State forward Renato Sidney has signed with an agent and will declare for the NBA draft. Syracuse Orange sophomore guard Dion Waiters has elected to enter the NBA draft and intends to sign with an agent. Rutgers has asked the Big East for financial relief to make up for the loss of a home game because of the changes in the Big East membership. Johnny Rogers, best known for his electrifying kick returns as the 1972 Heisman Trophy winner at Nebraska, announced a new postseason award for the top kick or punt return college football and the award will be eloquently called Johnny the Jet Rogers Award. Steve Whiteman, the, the former chairman and CEO of Viasoft, has been elected chairman of the board of directors of the Fiesta Bowl. Vancouver Canucks coach Alan Vignot says injured winger Daniel Seaton has a concussion. Edmonton Oilers forward Taylor Hall will undergo season-ending surgery on his left shoulder. Detroit Tiger star Miguel Cabrera was cleared Tuesday to play again more than a week after a bad hop grounder broke a bone beneath his right eye. Milwaukee Brewers catcher agreed to a five-year contract worth about $11 million. Los Angeles Clippers coach Vinny DeNegro received a vote of confidence from Clippers owner Donald Sterling and general manager Neil O'Shea this week and appears safe to finish the season. Australian point guard Paddy Mills has signed with the San Antonio Spurs after last playing in China during the NBA lockout. New York Knicks for Amari Stoudemire is out indefinitely after an MRI re revealed a bulging disc in his lower back. Rex Ryan admitted Tuesday that Mark Sanchez was not consulted before they pulled the trigger on trading for Tim Tebow. Running back Kevin Smith is returning to the Detroit Lions agreeing to a one-year deal. And finally, former NBA player Dennis Rodman is extremely sick and broke which prevents him from being current on child and spousal support payments according to court documents obtained by the Chicago Tribune and Rodman owes more than $800,000 in back child support. Wow! Talk about being behind! This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and YouTube, and tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed, and have a positive, productive, blessed day of what's left of it, and I leave you with namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you. And in closing, until justice is served, I am Trayvon Martin.